And welcome to Local Edition on Time Warner Cable. I'm Steve Swatt with the Sacramento Report. In the next few minutes, we're going to talk about difficult end-of-life planning. My guest this segment is Mariko Yamada, who is a member of the State Assembly from Yolo and Sonoma Counties, also the chair of the Aging and Long-Term Care Committee. Thank you very much for being with it's us. Great to join you again. And so I know your, your, your committee is concerned about this because issues crop up from time to time where uh, there's no long-term planning, uh, end-of-life planning at all, and it, it sort of disrupts, uh, um, you know, family Mm -hmm. families and things like that. Mm -hmm. So let me ask you, you know, first of all, uh, you're a former social worker, yes. so I know you've dealt with this a, a lot. That's a difficult thing, planning for your end of life, a difficult thing to, to really contemplate, isn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. I think, uh, you know, as a nation, uh, we find it very difficult to discuss end of life. Uh, other countries, other cultures, I think, sometimes address it uh, more directly and earlier uh, in our lifetimes. Uh, but, you know, we just had recent uh, a big case uh, in Bakersfield in California uh, that uh, a woman who did not have um, a DNR or do not resuscitate um, uh, piece of uh, it, or information on file uh, was uh, actually denied uh, CPR. And we know that there are a lot of questions about that particular case. Nothing criminal was, was uh, found. But what that example uh, provides us is that without having clear wishes uh, articulated uh, in advance, you put your family, yourself, and emergency services people uh, in very difficult situations. And yet so many people don't want to think about it. And sure, so they it, do nothing about it. That's right. right. So what are some of the things besides the DNR, do not resuscitate, mm -hmm. that individuals can and should do? Well, certainly, I think the first thing is to uh, become aware of what's available to you. Uh, and in California, there have been uh, a lot of uh, discussions and good work that's already been done. I brought with me today just two examples of uh, what an individual or family can do to address these issues. First, uh, the California Medical Association has available on its website uh, in a pre-hospital do not resuscitate form and it's uh, available free, downloadable, certainly you have to go over this document with your family and your physician. Uh, and uh, there's also uh, another bright pink form, I brought a copy of it that you might want to take a look at. This is uh, called the POLST, P-O-L-S-T, stands for Physician Orders for Life Sustaining Treatment. This is a document that you must go over with a physician uh, and be sure that it is uh, uh, completed and certainly witnessed. Mm -hmm. uh, this is just a, 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 you know, again, it's bright pink because uh, when those split-second decisions arise, uh, when emergency services is on scene, uh, if they find one of these, it gives them direct instructions as to what to do or not to do. And there are other issues too, I mean, living wills, uh, yes. the power of attorney, certainly. and things like that, that Certainly, are important. Uh, that's uh, something that would be a matter of a legal nature that, you know, we always encourage uh, folks to have conversations about and to give the durable power of health care uh, to someone who is trusted and who uh, you know is going to look out for your best interests. But, you know, most people wait till it's too late. And uh, if you are not in uh, the position to act upon your own, you know, act out your own wishes or act upon your own wishes, um, you do need to have someone uh, available to you in advance. All right. Well, this is very good advice. It's, it's difficult for people to think about, but it, it is, is good advice. Uh, Mariko Yamada, thanks for coming by. Thank you very much, Steve. And thanks to our viewers for watching Local Edition on Time Warner Cable. A reminder, you can see this and other interviews on YouTube, also on My Government On Demand. I'm Steve Swatt. Have a great day.